Hello and welcome to the Global Affairs Online Orientation. My name is Virginia Holm and I'm the Graduate Program Coordinator for the Global Affairs Master's Program. On behalf of the program, we are excited that you've chosen the Global Affairs Master's for your graduate studies and we look forward to working with you throughout your time in Mason. Before we get started with the online orientation, note that you can contact me anytime at globalma at gmu.edu. So let's get started with the session. Key university steps for newly admitted students. As part of the process for newly admitted students at Mason, you should complete the following tasks as listed on the slide. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out at globalma at gmu.edu. For more details, visit the Global Affairs website under the graduate student section or by following the link listed below on the slide. Key university steps for newly admitted students. The steps listed on this slide you may have not yet completed at this point, which is fine. They can be in progress, but be sure to complete them in the next few days as we get close to the start of the given semester. The links will help guide you to the right place to get each step completed. Key Global Affairs Master Steps for Newly Admitted Students. The steps listed on this slide are specifically for the Global Affairs Masters. So if you have not yet completed and submitted the Global Affairs MA Foreign Language Proficiency Form and the Global Affairs MA Specialization Form, please do so by the first day of classes for the given semester. Also, I want to bring your attention to the Graduate Student Study Plan in case you would like to plan a tentative coursework schedule for yourself. We can also do this during an advising appointment if you would like to. Please just send an email to globalma at gmu.edu for an advising appointment. Getting started, important information and resources. Everything that will be covered in today's online orientation, you can also find on the Global Affairs website under the Graduate Student section or by finding the link listed below on the slide. Global Affairs Curriculum Overview. The Masters of Arts in Global Affairs is an interdisciplinary program that offers you the opportunity to engage in advanced study in a broad range of global issues. It is a 30 credit program with 18 credits applying to the core courses and 12 credits to the specialization courses with the opportunity for part-time and full-time studies. Core Courses. Listed here are the Global Affairs core courses as part of the master's program. You should begin the program with the introductory course, GLOA 600. Depending on how many credits you plan to take, you can also enroll in GLOA 610 and or GLOA 615. The sections of GLOA 615 are topics-based, so make sure the topic is of interest to you. If none of the topics are of interest to you, you can wait until the next semester to take the course. You can also take this course GLOA 615, again with a different topic to count towards your declared specialization credit. The next progression of courses is followed by GLOA 710, which is a seminar abroad. More on this later on in the session. Next, GLOA 605 should be taken in your second to last semester before you're done with the program, as it prepares you for your final semester, in which you will need to apply to graduate and enroll in GLOA 720. For more information, please take a look at the Global Affairs website under the Current Graduate Student section or by following the link listed below on the slide. Specializations. Listed here are the eight specializations that you may select to declare. Note, not all approved courses for each specialization are offered every semester, and some may have pre-request requirements or require an override. You will need to reach out to the program or the instructor if you have a specific question about a course. Every semester, the available specialization list can be found on the Global Affairs website under the Graduate Student section or by following the link listed below on the slide. Academic Policies I will now go over the university and college policies. Classification A graduate student is considered full-time if they are enrolled in nine credits and part-time if they are enrolled in six credits. Credit Limit Graduate students may enroll in a maximum of 12 credit hours per semester. If you wish to enroll in additional hours, you must first obtain permission from the Global Affairs Program and then complete a graduate course overload request form. Time Limit Master's degree students have six years from the time of first enrollment as a degree-seeking student to complete their degrees. If you are an international student attending an F1 or J1 visa status, you will have more restricted time limits and should contact the Office of International Programs and Services for more information. If you fail to enroll in at least one credit of coursework for two or more consecutive semesters at Mason, you will need to complete the graduate application for a re-enrollment form and have it be approved and signed by the Global Affairs Program. Note that the six-year time limit does not reset. Registration. 
As you are an enrolled and degree-seeking graduate student at Mason, you are eligible to take courses through the Consortium of Universities of the Washington Metropolitan Area. Participation is limited to courses that are approved by the program, apply to your studies, and are not offered during that semester at Mason, and have space available at the visited institution. You may take one consortium course per semester with a career maximum of six credits. Credits earned through the consortium count in the Mason GPA. As a graduate student, withdraw after the last day to drop a course requires approval from the academic dean and is permitted only for non-academic reasons that prevent course completion. Note, selective withdrawals are not permitted for graduate students. If you have passed a course with a satisfactory grade of a B-, you are not permitted to repeat the course for replacement of credit unless the academic program specifies it. Grading. As a graduate student in the program, you must maintain a GPA of 3.0. A notation of academic warning will be entered on your transcript if you receive a grade of C or F in a graduate course or while grade of incomplete is in effect. A degree seeking graduate student is dismissed after accumulating grades of F in two courses or a total of nine credits of unsatisfactory grades in a graduate course. Graduation. You must be registered during the semester in which you plan to graduate. Graduate intent must be filed through PagerWeb according to the semester deadlines. After filing intent, it is important that you update your current mailing address in PagerWeb and ensure all IP, meaning in progress, and IN, meaning incomplete, grades are resolved by the end of the semester. If you have any questions about any of what I've just gone over, please feel free to reach out to me and we can discuss. Academic policies. Next, I will briefly go over the Global Affairs program policies. Registration. The Global Affairs core courses are offered each fall and spring semester, with the exception of Global 710, Seminar Abroad. We do not offer the core courses in the summer. If you wish to take a course in the summer, you're encouraged to register for specialization courses. Specialization. You will need to complete a total of 12 credits towards your specialization. Courses must come from at least two departments or programs, meaning courses need at least two different prefixes in the list of courses. They must come from two different disciplines. For questions, feel free to reach out. The specialization course list will be published online on the Global Affairs website each semester, and an email will go out to let you know that the list is live. Note, your selected specialization classes may not immediately be recognized in your degree works. If this happens, just know I will take care of it in your final semester. And your courses that you have taken will count as long as you're taking courses that are listed under your declared specialization or if you receive permission from the program to take courses outside of your specialization. GLOA 710 Seminar Abroad. This is a two-week seminar abroad trip. It is designed and led by Mason Global Affairs faculty. It is offered in the winter and summer with set locations for each. It features lectures by local scholars and professionals and site visits to important organizations and government agencies. You will need to register for GLOA 710 with the help of the Mason Global Abroad Office. Note, if you wish to study abroad in addition to the required GLOA 710 course, you may use up to three credits to for your specialization. However, you must first receive permission from the program. Registration readiness. It is very important that you take a look at the academic calendar each semester. Most of you have already registered online through Patriot Web for your courses. Just as a reminder, enrollment for all Global Affairs core courses is controlled, and we control the enrollment so everyone who needs a spot in a class is accommodated. Each semester, I will need to know if you will be a full-time or part-time student and which classes you hope to complete the following semester, so I can provide you with a registration override. Academic Advising For questions related to logistic issues, registration, and enrollment matters, including course overrides, feel free to email me at globalma at gmu.edu. Your faculty advisor will be assigned to you based on your declared specialization and research interests later on in the semester. How to check your degree evaluation. Along with advisor consultation, you must track your progress through degree works in Patriot Web. The degree audit is maintained by the registrar's office, which tracks course completion. It is very important that you check your degree works each semester before and after registration to ensure that you're enrolled and are meeting the requirements as part of the program. 
If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at globalmay at gmu.edu. Degree Works. For help on how to use Degree Works, please visit the link listed below on the slide. And that concludes the online orientation session. If you have any questions or would like to schedule a virtual or in-person appointment with me, please contact me at globalma at gmu.edu. Thank you for participating in the online orientation session. We hope you found the information provided helpful as you start your first semester in the Global Affairs Master's program.